I'm Mark, and I'm here today to talk about a fire. Uh, we had a house fire November 2009. Um, I used to remember the exact date. I don't remember the exact date anymore. Um, I think it was November 4th, if I, but I might be wrong. Anyway, yeah, um, it was uh, one of the many days that Riley was home sick from school. Um, I was doing some laundry, and her and I just watched a movie called uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. The only reason why I remember is because of the fire. It wasn't a particularly great movie. But, uh, yeah, we watched that. Um, I had a load of finished laundry, actually, on the, the landing of our because you know, we have a split level, you come in the front door and there's like a little landing, you go upstairs and our TV and stuff was to the left or downstairs, the basement where we had three computers and a little recording studio that I had set up um, <clears throat> and uh, watched that movie and I, and I turned on Fairly Odd Parents for, Morgan, for Riley sorry, for Riley so I just turned on Fairly Odd Parents for Riley and um, went to the bathroom, I believe, and Riley asked me if I smelled smoke. Um, we used to have a lot of candles burning in the house, you know, in the glass jars. And um, I really didn't smell anything, so I went down to the landing and turned to go down the basement. Um, put another load of laundry in and stuff like that and a big wall of black smoke so I took the, the laundry that was <laughs> on the landing and threw it out the front door went upstairs and had Riley and uh, Blossom our dog go out the back door we shooed two of the cats out couldn't find the third one, thought the third one was outside. And we went around front, got into our car, and um, called 911. And sat across the street waiting for the fire people to come. And um, it was kind of weird watching, you know, smoke start to come out of the house and everything. and fire department finally came and uh, they put the fire out in the basement um, and uh, they found one, the cat I think his name was Toby he was in Riley's bed they tried to resuscitate him um, took him to the vet and uh, he, he died there um and we had a fish called shark bait, big goldfish that died. Um, but uh, I don't know, that's those are the only losses that we had as far as lives go. Um, they went through, the fire actually burnt a hole through the kitchen floor. Uh, the fire started on our uh, computer table um, we had a computer table and I had a, one of those Yankee candles on the uh, table and um, there was a lot of stuff on that table there was um, nail polish stuff and uh, <laughs> lighter fluid and all kinds of other stuff. Printer with all kinds of paper. And uh, from what they told us, um, they said that uh, sometimes these candles in the jars, they get like halfway down or more and they can actually burst. And they're saying that that's what they figured happened with that whole situation and the candle happened to be right next to 
all that stuff, and it just went up. I was glad that, uh, you know, Riley and I and Blossom and Lucky and Simba got out okay. Um, then called Patty at work and told her what was going on. And uh, <laughs> called uh, Tara, Morgan, and Shauna let them know and <laughs> they kind of didn't believe us and uh, we spent the first night I believe at my parents house um, and then our insurance company got us a uh, a place to live it was actually like a condo it was a really nice condo actually I would have stayed there um, but uh yeah, we, we went to this condo, and um, girls got their own bedrooms and stuff, and we rented some furniture, and uh, they gave us some money to go out and buy some clothes and dishes and stuff like that, and we got initially set up that way, and um, talked to the, the school district, and it was kind of funny because uh, we were actually living now in a different school district, but the girls were still going to go to North Hills, although they were living in Avonworth. So we drove them to school every day. Um, later on, found out that um, we could have had it set up where North Hills would have picked them up with a, their own bus, but we didn't know that at the time. Um, and we lived there for... I believe about a year um, had these guys coming to, to help restore the house and uh, our insurance adjuster told, told us that we should go through the line items of what they were doing uh, because in the end you know it is our money so I started going through it and I noticed that they were charging a lot for stuff charging a lot for stuff and they're charging like twice for some things so what we ended up doing was just having them put up the drywall um, they cleaned up the you know the, the smoke damage they painted stuff and kind of fireproofed a lot of stuff that was already there and then we had them go and I did everything else I put in the kitchen I put in all the ceramic floors and stuff like that um, we went out and ordered all the uh, the stuff for bathrooms and things like that we had them do the plumbing though yeah we had them do some of the plumbing because uh, me and plumbing are not friends um, but yeah we had uh, I had a lot of work to do then I basically built a house and I learned a lot it was it was kind of uh, it was a good experience for me in the end daunting but um, all in all it was a good experience and um, we were very happy with the house after that uh, we haven't had a house since we moved and I think we all miss owning our own house and being able to put our own stamp on where we live you know, right now we're just renting and we're at the mercy of our landlords. Uh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. We then found out that even though stuff was looked okay, you know, I had a, I had an extensive DVD collection, um, but because of all the smoke that was in the house, everything in the house was... lost uh, except for like stuff like like our table Patty's hutch um, a lot of furniture they would clean up and stuff but anything that was plastic or anything like that that, that could have soaked in some of the toxic fumes they, they, they wrote it off so we had to uh, replace everything um, in a way it was fun 
but then you look back and you're just like, wow, we, like, the computer, the one computer had, because of, you know, technology, you know, all of Riley's childhood photos were on CD discs or in the computer. This, all the all the CD-ROM discs were melted and the computer was trashed. So we lost a lot of Riley's childhood there. You know, we had to rely on um, family to, to help us try to piece, but there's a lot of stuff that we just had our that were ours and they're lost. And it was all mostly Riley's childhood. Which is where Riley probably, you know, freaked out when we, <laughs> we replaced um, Patty's hutch with um, her mother's hutch. You know, Riley came in and freaked out and like, where's my childhood? Like, you're, you're, you're going to be 20, your childhood's gone. <laughs> but we took the hutch and put it in the garage for right now for Riley. So that that's hers now. When she gets her own place, she has a hutch. Um, I don't know. We, I think that our family is closer. I, I mean, I think our family's always been close, but I think that the fire kind of made us a little closer. You know, it's definitely something that we all went through. We all endured it. You know, and we all dealt with it and I think that we dealt with it pretty well um, but it's something that definitely had a, a major effect on all of us I mean we still talk about it you know there's there's life before the fire and life after the fire and um, you know I mean before the fire we all of our computers were Dell you know um, we, we, we uh, had just a lot of stuff stuff you know and after the fire we had all Apple products and uh, you know I think that we definitely I think one thing I, at least Patty and I you know I mean stuff is stuff you know and we realize you know, almost the majority of your stuff can be replaced I mean definitely Riley's memories that we had couldn't be replaced but we remember them, you know, we remember them. Um, and we get a lot of stuff from family, but I don't know. It, it's, it's kind of an interesting, uh, it's something that it definitely, you know, teaches you what's important in life and it's not stuff I like stuff I, I, I like to have stuff I, I you know I want stuff but that's what it is you want you don't need you know and I think that's what we really all kind of learned is that the thing that matters are the people that live or, or the animals or the pets that lived you know, um, the stuff can be replaced. And uh, I think that was the thing that we all learned from it. At least I, I believe we did. I know I did. And uh, Patty never was really much of a stuff person. I mean, she definitely has her stuff. But all of her stuff was pretty much safe. Like her hutch, her table. You know, stuff that she liked. Big, big clunky furniture. You know, she, she got that. Um, but yeah, the, the pictures... And I had some songs that were on that computer that there's one in particular that I wish that I could find somewhere. It, it's lost. And it was uh, a good song. And uh, I can't re recreate it. For the life of me, I just can't remember the whole thing. It's one of the things I wrote it on the computer, recorded it, liked it. I think I played it physically a few times, but not a lot. And then the fire happened and I lost it. But life goes on and you write new songs, you write better songs. Well, I don't know if it's better, but you know, you write different songs. You know, 
And I still remember that song, and I remember the the story of that song. I just haven't been able to recreate it yet. And honestly, I think Patty has a different idea because I, I I thought I had it at one point, and I think she remembers the song totally differently. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I said, I think the things that matter are the people. Stuff can be replaced. And, uh, I don't know. It's just like when I was, when I was younger, I went in the Air Force for four years. And I'm not a military person. I'm very artistic. I'm very, you know, easygoing and, you know, very anti-militaristic. I'm the opposite of what military really wants. And, uh, but again, I think that it was good for me, and I think that uh, people should experience that. And I also think that uh, something like the fire was something that I think that was good in the end for us to experience. Because I think that we as a family, fa we as a family uh, value ourselves value each other way more than we I think we would have had we not experienced that fire it was traumatic but I think that we all learned a lesson and I think it was a good lesson and I'm not saying everybody should have a house fire but I think somehow learning that you know stuff is stuff and what matters you know is in here it's the people in your life you know I think that's what matters and I think that's what we got out of it yeah but the fire sucked